Sairam children. I am going to teach you social studies. Social studies is not a new subject for you because you have already learned it in third standard. Now this year we are going to explore more on some of the topics and you will be learning new topics also okay so shall we move on to the topic now are you all ready to learn the topic yes landforms of the world what are landforms so first of all i will just show you some pictures of some of the landforms so quickly i will read the names of the landforms archipelago desert glacier bay hill island lake continent mountain canyon cave and delta in this you would have seen some of the landforms if you have visited uti or some hill stations you would have seen mountains hills etc right and some of you might have seen a cave right and also a lake so there are many different landforms in this world now we are going to see about what are landforms what are different types of landforms right so first we are going to see what are landforms the different features that make up the earth's surface are called landforms the different features that make up the earth's surface are called landforms we have four main landforms what are they mountains plains plateaus and deserts what are they mountains plains plateaus and deserts right now first we are going to learn about mountains right so here you can see the picture of a mountain and a hill peak right so now what are mountains mountains and hills are rocky masses of land that rises higher than the surroundings mountains and hills are rocky masses of land that rises higher than the surroundings as you have seen the picture of a mountain before mountains have very steep slopes and high peaks steep slopes what are steep slopes when you um, you would have visited a temple so you would have climbed up steps also so so climbing up the steps is similar somewhat similar to climbing up the mountain because while you climb up the steps it will be very difficult for you similarly climbing up a mountain is also very difficult because it has high peaks and getting down is sim somewhat similar to getting down through the steps of a temple because it will be very slope or steep so it will be uh, easy compared to climbing up the mountains right next again now we are going to we are seeing another two pictures uh, which uh, what are they we are just going to see what are they so first picture is the mountain range and the second picture is a hill right so now what are mountain ranges okay mountains occur in long row 
are called mountain range as you have seen in the previous picture mountains occur in long rows called the mountain range then what are hills hills are smaller and lower than the mountains okay hills are smaller and lower and mountain range what a mountain range mountains occur in long row are called mountain range right now we have seen mountains and hills so we are going to see one example of it himalayas in the north of india is the highest mountain range in the world himalayas in the north is the highest mountain range in the world then mount everest you have seen about himalayas now now mount everest is the highest mountain peak in the world and it is located in the himalayas in nepal mount everest is the highest mountain peak in the world and it is located in the himalayas in nepal right so himalayas is the highest mountain range and mount everest is the highest mountain peak in the world right now we have seen what are mountains and hills now we are going to see the types of mountains we have three types of mountain what are the three types of mountains fold mountain volcanic mountains and block mountains what are the three mountains four types of mountains fold mountains volcanic mountains and block mountains right in this what are fold mountains first we are going to see what are fold mountains okay then we will see what are volcanic mountains and la finally block mountains so what are fold mountains so here i have shown you some picture of the three types of mountains there first is the fold mountain second picture is the block mountain and third is the volcanic mountain okay these are the three types of mountains which we saw right now we are going to see what are fold mountains first right mountains that are formed when two large land masses push against each other are called fold mountains mountains that are formed when two large land masses push against each other are called fold mountains okay now you can see the formation of a fold mountains so that you can see the arrow marks the land is getting pushed on both the sides so that you are getting a fold there so this is how a fold mountain is formed right volcanic mountain mountains that are formed when molten rocks from deep inside the earth rises to the surface forming a volcano or called volcanic mountains mountains that are formed when molten rocks from deep inside the earth rises to the surface forming a volcano or called volcanic mountains right so this is the definition of it okay now we are going to see what are block mountains mountains that are formed by splitting and sliding of large blocks of land are called block mountains mountains 
that are formed by splitting and sliding of large blocks of land are called block mountains now we saw about mountains and types of mountains now we are going to see what are valleys right the low land between hills or mountains are called valley the low land between hills or mountains are called valley right so valleys are normally formed by glaciers or rivers wearing away rocks or mountains glaciers are like ice okay so valleys are normally formed by glaciers or rivers wearing away rocks or mountains what are valleys the low land between hills or mountains are called valleys one of the example of valley is kashmir valley and another example is brahmaputra valley we have kashmir valley and brahmaputra valley so this is the picture of a valley first is the picture of a valley and the second one uh, is the pass this is passes right first picture is the valley and second one is the passes so now we saw what are valleys shall we see what are passes passes what are passes the low narrow natural gaps that the mountains have are called passes the low narrow natural gaps that the mountains have are called passes so example for a pass is the khyber pass in the himalayas so this khyber pass connects afghanistan and pakistan together right so these are the examples right so we will see a quick summary of whatever we have learned today in this presentation so first we saw what are landforms then we had light types of landforms then what are mountains and uh, types of mountains then we saw valleys and passes what are plateaus is higher than the surroundings and more or less flat at the top is known as a plateau what are plateaus a large area of land that is higher than the and more or less flat at the top is known plateau okay one of the example of a plateau is the deccan plateau okay and uh, the deccan plateau is also called as uh, is also has another name uh, called uh, it is called as roof of the world okay deccan plateau has another uh, name the roof of the world right so next i'm going to show you a picture of a plateau and a plain okay so the first picture shows a plateau and the second picture shows you a plain right so we saw what are plateaus now we are going to see what are plains okay so plains plains are flat lands with gentle slopes as you saw in the picture preview a picture so it is shown there right plains are flat lands with gentle slopes A little slope will be there okay so what uh, rivers flowing from the mountains bring fertile soil to the plains so because the soil is fertile more crops grow here so crops grow well here so what are plains plains are flat lands with gentle slopes 
so rivers flowing from the mountain bring fertile soil to these plains next plains are most thickly populated areas in the world plains are most thickly populated area in the world okay the northern plain of india and the prairies of the usa produce large amount of wheat and grains the northern plains of india and the prairies of the usa produce large amount of wheat grains right so plains are more fertile okay so more plants grains grows there right next we saw what up plains before that we saw what are plateaus now we are going to see what are desert so deserts are large extremely dry areas of land deserts are large extremely dry areas of land there is very little rainfall and very few plants grow in desert deserts are large extremely dry areas of land there is very little rainfall and very few plants grow in desert so here the temperature in desert is also very high if it is cold it will be very cold if it is hot it will be extremely hot so now you can see the picture of a desert here okay we have uh, many important uh, important deserts in the world okay we have important deserts all over the world so i have listed here some of the deserts which are important okay the sahara desert in north africa it is the biggest desert in the world the sahara desert in north africa is the biggest desert in the world the sahara desert in north africa is the biggest desert in the world the kalari desert in south africa the kalari desert in south africa the atacama desert in south america the atacama desert in south america the thar desert in india the thar desert in india these are some of the important deserts of the world okay so we saw now four important deserts okay now so we saw what are plateaus what are plains what are desert and now we are going to see what is a coast and a peninsula what are coasts and peninsula is where land so on after going through this presentation i want you all to answer these questions so i'll just read the questions for you all what are landforms what are the different types of landforms third is what are fold mountains fourth one what are block mountains fifth one what are valleys and passes okay so thank you children so hope uh, you all understood everything just uh, find out the answers for this and uh, we'll see in the next class thank you